So many love stories are formed from fairy tales and that idealistic version of what love is and how two people should be together. There's aspects of that in the film. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Christian Grey. Anna's never seen anyone like that. She's never seen these things that in the moment are impressive. Christian Grey is obviously a very powerful man. His fleet of cars. Which one's yours? All of them. His glider and his helicopter and all the things that normal people don't have. 224, Charlie Tango, ready to depart. Roger that, Charlie Tango. It's James Bond-esque as well, that boyhood fantasy of having all those things at your disposal. To be able to see someone in that world is always an attractive thing. Initially, when he takes her in the helicopter and when he has new clothes waiting for her in the morning. You look beautiful. Things that are so thoughtful and also decadent. Oh my god, these are incredible. It was important to have the first edition books. I can't accept these, I have to send them back. And the gifts all the way through. Okay, just sign here. It's beautiful and amazing, but overwhelming and ultimately meaningless if the relationship can't work. Y'all ready? Well? Yeah, do it. Release. All of the things that Christian shows Anna, I mean, anyone would have fun in a glider. It's not about how rich he is or how decadent the lifestyle. It's about the fact that they've each never loved someone as much as they love each other. Where have you been? Waiting.